Oh, oh, she popping. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Betsabi and I'm Sarai. And if you want to see how we did this on our face, keep watching. So we already did our eyebrows. We got our eyelids ready. We got our skin prepped and primed and ready to go. I'm using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette today for this look. And I'm going to use the 39L Hit the Lights palette by Morphe. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this brush. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids because I primed with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion in Eden. I haven't used um, any primer in a long time. So, so my eyelids crease a lot, so I have to set them. I'm gonna go in with the pink right here. This one, where is it? That one. It, now I'm gonna pack this with the top one right here. She's using a Morphe brush and I'm using a Real Technique brush, eye brush. I'm not gonna, ooh. Okay, so this is my first time using this um, palette. No, it's not, I lied. But it's my first time using this pink. So wish me luck, guys. My opinion on this Take Me Back to Brazil is that it's not as pigmented as I thought and I was scared going lightly first but it doesn't work it just you just got to keep going so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a little fix plus on it to make it a little more intense to be honest I feel like I'm getting ready to go to an 80s themed party <gasps> that would be so much fun I want to go to like a 50s a 50s theme though like if I had to choose, it would, it would be 50s. Yes, yes, that sounds like it'd be so fun. Don't get any ideas, I don't want a 50s birthday theme party. I love <laughs> era stuff. I feel like the 50s seems like a really fun time. If, I, if you could go back to any the decade, 50s. what decade? What, you'd 50s. go to the 50s? Okay, we're going together. <laughs> because that's <laughs> what I would choose. We do everything together. Can I ask you you know what, the 40s too though, the 40s were pretty classy. Look at the difference after adding some Fix Plus to it. Oh, yep. Okay, so I'm scared to go in with this. I feel like I need another flattish brushish. Another flattish brushish? Yeah. All right, let's, let's see what this looks like because. So this is why I need tape, but you know what? We can clean. This is why we're doing our eyes first. So after you put in the pink, we're gonna go in and start building in the orange with a crease brush. Crease brush? Crease brush. This is an Ipsy brush. I got it from an Ipsy brush. Ipsy! This is a T35 Precise Blending Brush by Ipsy. It's a small little crease brush or a blending brush. Who likes I'm Ipsy? I'm going with this orange right here. Doing a little windshield wiper in the crease. Be a windshield. But I have, personally, I have to bring it in a little more because my crease kind of hides when I open my eyes. All right, so now I'm doing a yellow. Jello. Jello. I'm using that super bright color right here. And for the yellow, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brush, blending brush. I'm going with the yellow right here. I'm thinking I'm just gonna mix the two yellows, this one and this one. See how much brighter it makes it because I'm not doing it justice. Look how pigmented hers is. Okay, if we were doing a review right now and recommending a palette between the Morphe palette that she's using or this one. Morphe. Go with the Morphe. Morphe. No hate on this. Okay. Well, while she finishes up there, I'm gonna go in with foundation. 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 I'm gonna go do my makeup. My makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna do my foundation, my face. I'm gonna use the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula in Shide. What shade is it in? In Shide MW2. This one right here. Okay, so Whoa. honestly, I can't see a difference when I apply it, no matter if I use Fix Plus or not, with the yellows. I tried all the yellows, and it's not like popping as much as hers. It almost looks like it's still the orange. I'm gonna pack some of this shade called new money from the Too Faced oh, chocolate gold I like and that. I'm gonna top it top the pink part wow 
while she's doing her foundation, I'm gonna start with mine. And I primed with the Benefit Professional. I love that stuff. Leaves my skin feeling nice and smooth. And I'm going to use the Tarte Found Sealer Foundation Concealer. Concealer Foundation. It's the Found Sealer. In the shade Light Medium Sand. As you do that, I will go with concealer. Okay. Okay. So when I got this foundation, I was a little lighter. So it looks a little bit lighter than my skin tone right now, but we can bronze it up a little bit. Oh, I just love the feeling of it because I usually don't like wearing foundation, but this one in particular just makes it feel like I'm wearing tinted moisturizer. It's super lightweight, but it has good coverage. Blend it in, blend it in. Foundation, blend it in. I'll be using the Born This Way setting powder. Two faced. Two faced. I'm born this way. First, the two faced born this way. I use this heart shaped tint concealer in shade light natural. To conceal, I'm using this concealer I got from Ipsy for one of my Ipsy bags from Koki Professional. This shade, I don't think it has a shade name. Don't know. Can we just take a second and ask myself? why I'm speaking the way I was just speaking. If you didn't understand me, I said Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade Concealer. light natural. I need help, <laughs> apparently. So she's using the sponge from Real Techniques and I'm using the Real Techniques uh, buffing brush. So I'm setting my concealer. Or not. Just stabbing in. Why do I keep talking like that? I need help. She likes it. I like going in with my fingers a little bit if there's any excess. Um, and I'm gonna set with a pressed powder from Milani. What brush is this? Real Techniques? Gotta love them. I lost my setting brush. Uh, was I speaking like that again? So I'm gonna go in with the one and only Hula by Benefit. Why am I speaking like that? I need help. All right, here I go. Try this again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the one and only Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Next, I'm going to bronze with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate. I love applying this because it feels like I'm tasting the chocolate. Fun fact, I don't like scented things very much. She wants to fight. <laughs> no, I want you to taste the chocolate. She wants to fight. Taste the rainbow. Forehead, go ham. Um, I don't have a big forehead, so I don't really need to go ham on it. But I do have a triple chin, so if I can make it, you know, look a little better. I have sure old will. songs stuck in my head right now. I don't know if you can see me lip singing, but like I'm not lip singing, but like I'm singing. So next, I'm gonna go in and br not bronze blush. Thank you, blush, because I just bronzed. I told you I was bronzing too much that now I just have that word in my mouth. Um, this is the butter blush from Physicians Formula in the shade Vintage Rogue. Ooh, or is it rouge? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the brush I bronzed with is an equal tools brush and this one I don't know I think it's from an ipsy bag too so I love when ipsy sends me brushes I'm going in to try to snatch my nose somewhat because I have a wide nose. I have a big nose we all know that there's not much I can do except rhinoplasty but we'll see um, all right I'm gonna go in with blush what blush is this actually pixie it's a pixie Pixie blush in peach rose. Peach rose, not peach rose. And I just highlighted with the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Holographic Highlighting Powder. Just says Holographic Highlighting Powder. I'm pretty sure the packaging had the color shade, but there's two different ones I remember seeing, and it's this one. And I'm gonna blush. use it for my inner corners as well. Right. Comment down below if you know what song I keep. 
screaming <laughs> lights out. <laughs> do you know what song it is? First. <laughs> I do like this. No. That wasn't it? Mm -mm. Put a look on my face like I smell some. So it was? No, it wasn't. Oh, but I got it in your head now. Yeah. Now I'm ready for my falsies. I have the Velour lash adhesive that I'm using and some falsies. I'm gonna go in with the House of Lashes eyelash tube and with these eyelashes. I'm a little indecisive right now and I'm choosing, please help me choose between the MAC Creme in Your Coffee or the Dose of Colors in the shade Truffle. That one. I'm not lining my lips. So after setting my face with powder, it gets my eyebrows a little powdery. So I'm gonna go back in just to clean it up a little bit with the Morphe Brow Pomade. going in to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray Just <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Hangover Primer Setting Spray from Too Faced This one My face is drenched but it feels great I will be lining my lips with NYX lip liner in Los Angeles. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Essence Barely There lipstick. Okay, so after setting our face, I applied a little more eyeliner and a little bit of more highlight. I did my lips, I applied highlight. This is it. This is my version of a little sunset pink, orange, yellow look. And this is what it looks like on my eyes. So the point of this is too, for you ladies and gentlemen that like to do your makeup, when you're following a tutorial and then get disappointed because it doesn't look the same on your face than it does on the tutorial or the picture you got it from, keep in mind that we all have different eye shapes, so we all look different. So that completes our video, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Bye. Bye. yellow right here the neon one I don't know how to do the wo the wo <laughs> oh oh I just hurt my knee I'm oh. sorry put a look on my face like I got some some hey I'm a cow. I'm a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.